Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us. Today, we look a little bit like a mess. Uh, talk about yourself. I just woke you up. Mm -hmm. I just threw on a hoodie over what I slept in. You say My no. hair is still completely scruffy. That's because this showed up outside maybe 20 minutes ago. Does it say it? It does say it in front. It's Great Wall from Awakened Realms. Great Wall from Awakened Realms. We Ooh. are going to be opening this up. We're going to be talking about it. Just like any of our unboxing videos here on the channel, we know enough about this game to talk about the components as we pull it out. Ooh. That's your exercise for the day. That's a lot Jans, of Jans, are you ready to unbox this game? Whoa, okay. Is that in, in honor of the theme? Well, it's <laughs> a Great Wall, so we're going to get a great night. <laughs> That's violent. Ah. So if you don't know, this is Awaken Realm's first ever full-fledged Euro, right? A uh, worker placement game with a little bit of action selection, absolutely. Jim, would you like to do the honors? Oh my gosh. I'm always worried about you and knives, Jesse. Always, every time. Is okay. that why you don't use a knife? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> so we okay. should have the deluxe copy here. I don't know everything. Yes, the uh, expansion. We, do. we got everything. everything. Oh, oh, my. oh, Jesse, wait, 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 wait. Ooh! Is it the next game? That's the next game. Woo! Gotcha. Are we, yes. Can we show that? Uh, I believe we absolutely can. Now, here's the cool thing about this game, Jan. We're in this game. Ooh, is that the guy with the with the the goose or the I showed you, on top? There is a there is a there is a there is a dude in this game with a duck on the head. All oh, right. Okay. Let's keep going. Wait, you're not gonna open it? Well, well I don't know if the artwork's in there or not. Speaking of artwork, see. I'm your way favorite. I'm way more excited about getting into this at the moment. Oh wow! Sleeves. Even all this, a full mat. Oh right. my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, so. I was gonna throw it behind you and then I thought to myself, nah, we'll put it on your head. People just like putting boxes on my head for some reason. Shiro yes. loves to do okay. that. Okay, okay, okay. So what we're opening up here is going to be the worker placement regions. Now there's gonna be some expanded boards and there's gonna be personal tableau mm -hmm, boards, mm -hmm. but this is gonna be where you're taking the main actions. There's going to be the great wall here, which we're gonna be building up. Worker placement zones, which only trigger when you actually fill these columns. So you have to work together navigating as a team. like. If I want to go here to use this action, mm -hmm. I need everyone else to come everyone. in this action wow. so that it's so that it's utilized. Because we're all working together to avoid the hordes but coming and taking get us over. As much honor as possible while you mm -hmm. do so, which is going to be a combination of taking down the hordes, which are going to be marching uh, towards the wall here, building up the the wall itself and the ramparts, and then taking petition like specific resource management and uh, personality or tableau building actions here on the main. Board. It's like a collaborative after the empire, sort of. Uh, not entirely wrong, except it's yes. still competitive. Look, now, there is a cooperative expansion, which I believe we might have wow. here. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Okay. The Great Wall. Artwork so far is beautiful. It's, oh, it's like gorgeous. very minimalistic in, in the outskirts, but... It's Awaken Realms. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know. But they always, they always change it up every time. So yeah, we do have the deluxe copy here, which is going to be the minis version. There is actually a meeple version. Which I would have loved to see, because I love meeples. I kind of want both options, and I know yeah. there was a meeple expansion or a meeple upgrade mm -hmm. you could get. I'm considering going back and getting that. I love the minis, but I also, I love me some They did a great job with the time. meeples. They really they did. awesome. They've got so much personality. All right, keep going. Open that up. Oh. Okay, box fart, box fart. I, I hate that term. Okay, box it is my, flatulence? It is my least favorite term in, like, that and a merry trash. Box gas. Teams. I don't, I don't like the terms. <laughs> so, ugh. All right, I'm gonna look for some flavor, unless you want the flavor text? No, no, you, you can take board? over the flavor text. Okay, now I already can see that the main player board, just like most neoprene mm -hmm. mats, is gonna be a little bit richer in mm -hmm. colors. But, of course, I love playing the neoprene. So oh. you can see, you can see the difference here. A little bit brighter on mm -hmm. some of the colors, a little bit rich, richer when it gets to those blacks and darks. Set that off to the side, and let's see here. Great Wall is a fantasy game inspired by the history of the Great Wall of China, Song Dynasty, and the Genghis Khan Conquest. Most of the characters, events, and military in inventions are historical, but some are slightly modified to better suit the game's theme. The Great Wall already stood there during the Zhu Dynasty many years before the current turmoil. Back then, it was a simple series of walls and forts that protected the land from invading nomadic tribes. It had survived many wars and battles and was expected to be rebuilt, repaired countless times. Much later, during the 10th and 11th centuries, the no Northern Song Dynasty built the Great Wall sections located in what are now the Providence of Sanzai and Hebi to defend themselves from Jurinjin invasions. Despite their work, the wall failed, forcing them to retreat south the mighty fortifications now belong to their enemies. A hundred years later, using the Great Wall raised by the predecessors, the Jing Dynasty 
tries to repel the Mongol invasion from the north, but the Song Dynasty, now named Southern Song, is still resentful towards Jin, the ally with the Mongols, and crush their old enemy. However, they did not predict the insatiable hunger of their allies, and now must face the Mongol hordes themselves. Yes. Wow. Okay. What you're opening up is going to be the different generals that we're going to be commanding. Mm -hmm. So each player is going to be take, taking a general that is a degree asymmetric in their own sense. They have their own resource generation that they're going to be pulling. Okay. You have your own tableau of advisors and military leaders that you can add mm -hmm. into your mix. And so this has a really neat, uh, this has a really neat combination of powers and abilities for an asymmetric Euro placement or worker placement. The miniatures look fantastic. Fantastic. And also, if you, if you, I'm not sure, I showed it to the camera to the top and also forward, but I can't, I don't know if it can actually show, but those have the sun drop effect. But it's Just very slightly. light, it's like, it's like a slight whitish on it, which yeah. makes everything look statuesque and just... Beautiful. Well, and the I nice thing it. about the sun drop effect, they actually do it with sugar. So go ahead and give that a mouthfeel. Just let me know how that is. Did you think I was gonna fall for that? No, it's it's a little it's a, yeah it's a little sweet. No, it is. No, that makes no sense. Are you kidding me? This the entire thing would be covered by ants at the end of the. It's great. You're not gonna try it. I've done enough when, of the mouthfeel for a lifetime now. When you get your now. copy in, if you don't believe me, that's all right. When you get your copy in, they actually do the sun drop effect with a slight glaze of sugar. Uh, it's a little sweet, you know, it's not, it's not like you, it's not enough where animals are going to be attracted to it, but if you put it in your mouth, just like they do those bitter things, you know, the things that keep kids from eating candy and items? I have really ever, hope this Jim, is not becoming a trend in the board game you, industry. No, no, no. People stop putting components in your mouth. It's not supposed Jim, to be, it's not supposed to go there. Have you never seen the thing that, where they keep kids from eating little bits and pieces by coating it in a bitter substance? Awakened Realms does that with their sun drop, except they do it with a sweet, it, it it's just, it's, it's all about quality. It's all about quality, quality control. Okay, so I'm never being the blue faction. The Perfect. minis look okay. fantastic. These are going to be the barbarian mm -hmm. hordes that are marching down. So each one is going to have regions that you have to hit. Uh, so you flip, okay. the gems have to go there, regions have to go there, uh, different worker placement to take huh. out the various different, and they of course have hmm. their own abilities and how much they're going to destroy or damage the wall. Fascinating. You want to okay. start looking through the generals and the different characters you can yeah, add. So to this is all unique artwork, I'm assuming. Yep. So we got Liang Hongyu, Hian. I'm not going to pronounce these names. Uh, we have them. Ah, oh, these are really nice. Well, and there's a little bit of flavor text. Go ahead and read a little. Choose one that you think looks awesome and give a little read to that. Ooh. Okay. Everything should be moderately historical here. A former soldier of the Mongol Empire. Zhang fled under the wings of the Song Dynasty and, and became a useful and apt admiral of the Chinese army. He uses the knowledge earned in his former life to defend his new emperor from formidable enemies. Awesome. We have a few Very more pieces nice. of uh, military artwork here. Ooh, okay. You can see the Mongol, the different Mongol Why are hordes. these different than the ones that we saw? Were those basic cards? Well, I mean, we have a mix. Yes, yeah, so these are heavy infantry. These are just mm. more of the same mix, right? So we have assassins, we have uh, arsonists, we have the elite cavalry. We have the mounted archers, Whoa. the marksmen. This is okay. This is looking fascinating. I don't think I delved deep enough into the first foray of this on Kickstarter, so I would be I mean, very interested in checking this out. They've produced a ton of stuff since this was on Kickstarter. Oof. Like they were still kind of a younger company when Kickstarter when this Kickstarter was launching. They just I think had Tainted Grail arrive. Yeah. So it it had been. Um, oh, you're talking Etherfields. Edge. You're talking Etherfields. Edge. And then uh, Tainted Grail as well, Etherfield Nemesis. Etherfield wasn't in. Etherfield hasn't, Nemesis but they, they'd but already since, designed but it, since right? They've, they've, they've done Lockdown. Since then, they've had the new expansion where Tainted Grail mm -hmm. arrive. They've had Etherfields arrive. They've launched wow. ISS Vanguard. I mean, it's a lot. So this is this is kind of like midway through their designing career. So I'm I'm very interested. Well, and this is they've never done this type of game before, Not which is what I had a lot of people kind of asking questions. Right, a lot of people were curious about whether or not Awakened Realms could pull off on. So when is that gameplay coming? Because that I'm I'm assuming that's what people want to see. I am ASAP. planning I am planning to produce a gameplay this week while I'm back in Maryland. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm going to be reading the rulebook tonight, and hopefully in the next day or so we'll be able to sit down and actually play it. Let's take a look at some of this artwork here. I mean, I'm not going to show it all. So it has kind of like that tainted grail fade out effect that a lot of the artwork in that game had, but it it's it's it feels completely specified and unique to just this looks, franchise. It looks awesome. It looks fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's keep going through. If you want to start cleaning this stuff up, what about all the little I'll bits double and check. pieces? I was going to say I'll double check the last few things we have in the box here. There's a few elements in there. 
I saw. So these things. are going to be uh, these are going to be people that we add to our to our clan. Mm. Uh, extra actions like, like the townsfolk. More, well, like the mortician here. Each time at least one of your gems is killed, get two blue gems back. Which is really important for yep. all those yep. spaces I saw. The Mortician's saw. work goes beyond the mere burial of corpses. He provides consolation and peace of mind. Very nice. I love the bits of flavor Such text. a nice old man. And then here we have, here we have, I believe is going to be our action selection deck. This oh. isn't one on top, but I believe through here you're going to have, so this has an interesting Ooh. thing. At the start of your turn, Jan, mm -hmm. careful with those cards. I have a knife over here. You're like bending half the cards in an attempt to open it. Ooh. I know you want to see it, but I do want to see it. Games. It looks... So here's the thing. There's a interesting. Your game. Yeah, I got this, Jim. There's an interesting. Uh, there's an interesting system that happens here when it comes to worker placement or action selection. At the start of your turn, you're going to be playing a card that's going to give you a series of actions that you can take. You then choose when and how you want to take those because you're benefiting the rest of the group as you do so. So mm. you have this sort of tribal action selection, and you can delay certain actions until you are able to take what you need to uh, move forward. I love that aesthetic. Oh, it's so nice. So these are specific. These are the specific cards per clan, right? I think so. Yes. Yep. Oh, dude. Okay. I love. I love that. I love that effect. It's gorgeous. Actually, mm, Anne's trespass. I think I love it. I, this is awesome. I think this is my favorite artwork. <laughs> Player trackers, plastic pieces. Very cool. The rest of these are going to be pretty standard resources. There are resource upgrades. I don't think we got that. Oh, okay. But uh, hey, we got we got enough. We have a lot. There's a okay. bunch here. Stretch goals. Sweet. Ooh. Can I have the uh, the knife? Yes, here? you may. The ceremonial knife. In this box, you'll find four expansions that will enrich your gameplay options. Wow. The Ancient Chronicles, The Rat, yes, Fifth Player, and Genghis Khan. Okay. The Rat? I'm not sure exactly what The Rat is. We can look into that. The Rat brings fortune to those in need. The venerable animal chooses a player who then decides which location to receive the Rat's blessing. This particular place will be more profitable for all years. So a little uh, in-game modifier. The Genghis Khan expansion is going to add another challenge to the uh, tribes that are moving down. Oh my gosh. You're actually do we need more challenge? Instead of facing off against the Mongols, you're actually going to be facing off against Genghis Khan himself and his Ooh. horde. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound very good. And then, of course, the fifth player expansion is just going to bring up the amount of people that can be playing the game. So, more minis. You oh, sure you want to try these out? Oh, whoa. Look at those. I want to feel them. I don't want to feel them in my mouth. Here's some military. Does that make sense? Look at this thing, Jesse. Well, look at that. Oh, look at the rat also. Now, with Genghis Khan, each faction is going to have these bannermen as well. Yeah, so those are beautiful. Everyone's getting another piece of bannermen. We have unique pieces of gear and weapons that we can utilize. Oh, okay. Some more tracking pieces. Iron Ooh. Dragon. Oh, so that's this guy. There. Yep. Genghis Khan cards. Wow. So his clan cards. Wow, those are out. huge. And uh, just a whole nother deck of potential uh, people to upgrade your board. Okay. Okay, we definitely... Can we just play this today instead? Can we just prioritize that rulebook immediately? Possibly. Oh, look at the little rat! Okay. It even has a quill on Ooh, it! Oh, yeah, the rat miniature. That was one of the expansions that uh, oh, people were working towards. You're gonna find awesome. some flavor text in there to read while I continue digging. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. And this is Genghis uh -oh. Khan. There's no flavor text on this one, Jesse. None at all? Oh, no, no, no. I did, I did find some. Ancient Chronicles. The Ancient Chronicles, nope. Freezing weather? Yes. When spring came, winter didn't loosen its grip. Trees and crops tried to bloom during the warmer days, but the cold killed them a week later. There's still some supplies left in the granary, but will they suffice for the whole year? People fear hunger. The bravest ones choose a warrior's death on the wall, rather than a humiliation of starvation. Nonetheless, there is a positive aspect of this situation. The enemy is also lacking provisions, and they shiver in their cold tents. Soon, disease, hunger, and death will visit their encampment. It's a matter of who will die first, the defenders of the war, of the wall, or their assailants. Jan, if you ever wanted ballistas in a game... Oh, man, this reminds me of the... Ooh. Look at this. Oh. These minis oh. are epic. I have a question. Yeah. Is there like a wall, like a physical wall expansion? There's a physical wall that we're going to be building. That's one of the tiles that you pulled off in the core okay. box. So, so it's all cardboard. Yeah, it's a cardboard okay. built physical wall that kind of adds layers. 
And these are going to add big banisters and ballistas and other elements to that game state. Gosh, the sun drop. I love and it these, so much. These are going to be utilized as bridges. <laughs> uh, and these are going to be placed, I believe, down in this area where you're actually defending. I think this oh. this changes those other defense me mechanisms. Is that, is that a monk? Are these monks? That that has to be a monk, every right? Faction, every faction gets these little rocket launcher monk type creatures. So like this dude here has got his whole satchel full of oh. uh, fire sticks. <laughs> That's crazy. Isn't that cool? I wonder if this is based on actual military practices oh, at I'm the sure. time. Oh, I'm sure. Here we have a stack of cards, which are going to add more uh, uh -oh. elements. Yeah, Ooh, some of them are going to be marching towards us, and Oof. some of them are going to be things that we can defend with. Uh oh. More clan cards, more one use uh, little uh, like rocket and ability cards. This is looking so cool. Uh, no, yeah, I mean it when I say, can we just play this today? Honestly, like, let's just scrap everything we're planning to do and just do this. Okay. Seriously. All right. What are we missing? Uh, oh, those two smaller boxes? Yeah, and the Great, Gaijin, then we can get started. And the Gaijin book. Ooh, okay. I'm hoping the piece of artwork that includes Quackalope is in it. I'm not 100% sure it will be. <laughs> it's the first page, man. You gotta be faithful. You gotta, you gotta trust. I'm really hoping that it is, because that would be <laughs> such a cool thing to be able to show off. Ooh, I can start opening this one. I no, think. you can't. I won't. Uh, upgraded Ooh. resources. We did get the resources. Oh, and the ancient beast six. This looks really neat. So I'm trying to think of. We didn't get the meeples. Uh, we didn't get the wall upgrade. So there was a wall upgrade. There is a wall upgrade. Yeah. Oh, I had a feeling there should have been minis about oh, it. Oh, fantastic. These are well Ooh. worth it. Jen, you know what to do. <laughs> no, give me your hand. What are you doing, you freak? What? I thought you wanted the mouthfeel on these. <laughs> oh, these dang. are much more capable of mouthfeel than the other ones. These Aren't look these like nice? hard candies. I mean, they're boulders. These are not. I like these a lot. The bits crevices on them, the cra like what is the it? Little, crag? The bits. They, I mean, they're just giant rocks. Ooh, yeah, these, yeah, are, these nice. are awesome. Those, those are, are nice. really, really. I cool. would have liked the gold to be a little heavier than it is. Oh, yeah, not quite, sure. Not quite as heavy as it is. If you hear scratching at the door, that's it's a an ancient beast brutally trying to escape. You know what the really nice thing about these components also is? That these are almost universal. A lot of games that's use true. stone, gold, and wood, so you have some that's nice true. upgrades there. Everdell Pearls will never be the same. <laughs> and here we go the Divine Beasts themselves, which look so cool. Look at those, man. Which one do you yes. like? The which dragon? One, which one's my favorite? I think mine is the, the, the what is oh, it, the tiger? Hands down the turtle snake. Are okay, you yeah, kidding me? Turtle snake me? is really cool. Look I like this thing. guy. Look at this. That's a Sweet. very long cat. All right, and let's, oh, take, uh, let's so take a look neat. at this last thing, the uh, hint at what the next game is going to be. So if you don't want spoilers for your own gift and you want to be able to experience this on your own, feel free to tune out at this point. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you being here. Do we really think anybody's leaving? Uh, seven people just left, Jen. <laughs> Only seven. Well, I'm so sorry seven for you. Seven people. Hey, stop scratching at the door. We're trying to film a video here. Can't oh, Ash. A professional studio. All right. Let's see here. So, well, that's Gaijin dire. is yeah. Gaijin is set in this post like post apocalyptic sci fi esque world, cyberpunk adventure board game with a post apocalyptic vibe for one to four players will struggle to survive and pursue their agendas in the worlds of the, at the same time. The physical one, filled with deadly machines and merciless human survivors, and the virtual one, prowled by tracking software and vicious viruses. Some game scenarios will require cooperation between players. Some will lead to an open conflict, but most of the time, players will try to achieve their own goals, interacting with others only when they need to, to exploit their weaknesses or to make a short, uneasy alliance. Players will find new implants and to augment their bodies in the real world and gain knowledge and insight while exploring the cybernetic realm. However, suppose they spend too much time in one of them. In that case, they will be in, in, uh, in, endangered in, in the other. It's easy to track a motionless body based off its cybernetic location, and if players don't work on their firewalls, they're susceptible to AI attacks. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Fascinating concept. I'm just going to flip through the artwork here. Ooh, you want to you wanna read some of this? Few remember that day, for only few survived it. The attacks happened simultaneously throughout the world. The lives of countless people were extinguished in a split second as implants fried their brains, artificial limbs broke their bones, and their memory chips went black. 
<laughs> Let's keep going through this artwork as we deal with the ancient beasts in the room. Alright, I opened the door so she can just leave if she wants. We had no chance to fight back. The AI was patient. It pulled the trigger only when it managed to infiltrate every network and penetrate almost every oh, security because, protocol. Oh, it's because Shira's here. That's <laughs> On here. the planet. <laughs> That's why she was scratching at the door. Here, take a seat. We're checking out I'm this wet. new book. I need to go well, you just went swimming. Hop in. Ooh, look at this thing. Is that I'm a crow? Is that a cyber crow? What is that? It looks like a cyber what game crow. Is this? this is so we just unboxed the, the Great Wall. We're looking at the preview for Gaijin. Okay. This is the next game from Awakened Realms. Ooh. ISS Vanguard, mm -hmm. Nemesis, The Edge, The Big Players. This looks really pretty. Yeah, so it's a combination between... Is that a storybook? This is the art book specifically promoting the next game in the series. Nice. Well, in the, in the and company. And we're, we're in this game. Somewhere. You are? There's a Somewhere. piece of artwork in it. We're looking for that artwork now. I don't know if it'll be in this book or not. I mean, this is the artwork book. Yes, yes, yes. But so... I'm not sure... I wonder, I don't know. Ooh. I wonder if they did it obvious or not so, so obvious. So we're on, we're on the figure. There's a, there's a guy with a duck on his head. Okay. Well, I it's a scavenger hunt. Whoever finds it gets something. Wait. She's awesome, by the way. Ooh. So it, we'd be in one of these type of sets. It's not here yet, though. <gasps> there it is! Ah! <laughs> Read the page, what's it say? Then there are Spartans, mostly ex-military, hell-bent on showing the Ascent what humans are made of. They took over a lot of advanced weaponry, but, if you ask me, too many of them have a death wish written on their foreheads. <laughs> they, Dan, that used to be a dragon. Yes! <laughs> yes! Now it's a duck? It's a duck! Uh, it looks much more menacing than any dragon I've ever seen. I'll don't, just no, say that much. No, don't even show any of the other artwork. We don't need to show the rest of the book. Thank We're you done. so very much for tuning in. Sure. We hope you enjoyed this. Log us out. And until next time? That's not what we say. Isn't that what we say? Regardless of what you do. Remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. No! Put ducks on more games! We'll see you next time. Bye.